I like to call it the main event. Yeah. I think that the open trot, nine times out of ten, is the main event in the Breeders' Crown. Yeah. You'll get your three-year-old cult pacers and three-year-old cult trotters every once in a while, yeah. or the open pace. Uh, but the open trot's where, yeah. where it's at. Yeah, it's top price. So with him, he comes, when did he get here? Around Hamiltonian time, right? Yeah. Just uh, like a week before the week handball. before? Yeah. He did his quarantine. Yeah. Did and, you and know he, anything about him? Uh, I mean, I've been following him and from Sweden and Norway and like very closely because I mean, he's been known as a good horse back home. Yeah. So, I mean, I've been seeing him. And like when Sarah told me that, oh, you're going to take care of a curie, like I, I couldn't believe it because I, I <laughs> see him like wait. such as a good horse. Right. It was just... That's uh, like the equivalent of, oh, you're going to take care of some beach somewhere. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah uh, okay. <laughs> like, all right. And I, was I almost said no because I thought it was like too, too much, much pressure. Too much pressure yeah. too much stress. He seems to be pretty good though as yeah, far yeah, as... Yeah, yeah. He's a cool horse. I mean, he's handsome. He, he yeah. looks good. Yeah. Uh, no real issue. Kind of the opposite of Felicity, right? Yeah. As far as almost makes everybody's job look easy. Yeah. Not that it's an easy job. No, but it's not an easy job. But I mean, he 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 made it look easy. His two starts last year, and yeah. So we go into that race. You already have Felicity. Yeah. Now we've got a Curie. Yeah, I didn't have no expectations because I thought like no one can win two British crowns. Like I thought that was impossible. So even with him being yes, pretty like much a, yeah. the best horse. Yeah. But we just watched Atlanta yeah. not mm -hmm. uh, race well. Yeah. I mean, she raced okay, but now you're kind of worried to like, oh yeah. man, what's going to happen to him, yeah. right? Yeah, I, I couldn't like imagine that someone even could win two British crowns. So I thought it was like I had no expectations going into the race. So you were happy with like second? We're like, yeah, okay, yeah. we'll get second. Yeah, and, and, like money. I'm happy with if second, money. <laughs> kind of give him the winter off yeah. and then we'll come back next year. Yeah. So we're going behind the gate now. And I will say, this race was a lot more nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I watched this one. You watched this one? Yeah. Okay. You probably shouldn't have, no. because this one will give anybody a heart attack. Yeah. So he's post three. Here they come. And they're off into trotting. It's academic. It's academic in beach. Shooting out of there from the outside. Comes ready for money. And Amigo Volo is widest of all. And right there is Ikiri D, the heavy favorites, now second. As uh, Forbidden Trade cuts the corner from third. So it's Beads on the outside, fourth, looking to slide in. And then it's War We Ru. He stride for stride with a ready for money. Three wide comes Amigo Volo at the rear of the field. Then comes Sermon to the outside. Pinned in his chin, chin hall after the, the uh, second tier start, then back of the neck. And Majestic Player, 11th and last, 27 and 3. Crisp opening quarter, Ikiri D. And Okis Vonstead takes the lead. Here comes pressure from Forbidden Trey, the Hamiltonian champion challenges. It's its academic on the inside, third as they get close to the half. Ready for money is fourth on the outside. Beads is fifth. Amigo Volo is sixth. War We Ru on the outside, seventh. Followed by Chin Chin Hall, eighth on the inside. Then comes Sermon on the outside underway with Majestic of Player and back of the neck. Half was 55 and one. And now it's Forbidden Trade. The ball's in his court. It's Forbidden Trade. And uh, charging up and quickly after him is ready for money and Andrew McCarthy. That one means business. Ikiri D already back to third on the inside. War We Ru gapping on the outside, fourth and squeeze. Squeezing out was Ikiri D. Got some room to squeeze out. It's academic from the inside. Has some trot to offer. It's ready for money on the outside. Ready for money. 124 and 2. They're into the stretch. And it's ready for money. Ikiri D unleashed on the outside. Vaukis Vonstead grabs the track. And here comes Ikiri D on the outside. Right by ready for money. Then on the inside comes Forbidden Trade. And it's Ikiri D in the Breeders' Crown living up to the hype. E. Curry D romps here over back of the neck, then ready for money. And Sermon, E. Curry D in the Breeders' Crown, 152. So he finally gets free, and yeah. now he just sprints away. And now you're like, wait, wait, two Breeders' Crowns. Yeah. Wait, now I got to run back to the winner's circle. Yeah. And I, I were afraid that it, he came out too tight to the other horses. And uh, but then I told I were standing beside Sarah and I said I don't care because back of the neck we're second and he 
Oh yeah, yeah that's the, right. I, yeah. I even forgot about that. That you also had that horse yeah, too. Yeah. So you were just like, well, I can't win. I can't train my horse in no. the dead heat. So I'll take first and second. Yeah. So I, I had forgot even about yeah, back yeah. in the neck <laughs> until you just said it. So you had first, first, second. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, a, that's a, a crazy day. What a crazy day. At what point, uh, you know, he's, he's in the winter circle, you bathe him, you load yeah. up on the truck. At yeah. what point did you guys all kind of celebrate and be like, yeah, we had a hell of a breeder's crown. Uh, so we all got home here. I had my own car at Meadowlands. So I just talked with my family back home all the way home and listened to music and we're just so happy. And then we got back here and everybody were like really tired. <laughs> but then we went out and celebrated a little bit. But yeah, it's almost... Nothing big. It's almost you needed that to, yeah. to rest, yeah. and then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you're yeah, like. Then you're like. <laughs> and also too, it's at the end of the season, yeah. kind of, you know, where you can actually take a couple of days to be like, wow, that yeah. was pretty cool. It's yeah. not like Hamiltonian where we've got race after oh, race yeah, after yeah. race. Yeah, it just keeps going. So, uh, I mean, this Breeders' Crown, are we gonna be replicating? Is I mean, he's got some pretty good competition yeah. right down the barn oh, yeah. shed row there. Yeah. He just won. He's already beaten Al. Yeah. Al beat him. Yeah. So is there going to be some yeah, some groom we'll, rivalries, yeah. or, or are you happy with a one-two no matter where you guys finish? No, I mean as long as he race the best he can and he usually does, I'm very happy. You and as long as he's looking good and all that, I'm happy. Yeah, I mean for for Al, uh, you could be like, listen, he already set a world record. Yeah. Did you set any <laughs> world records, Al? Not no, yet, not yet. Not yet. So always keep that in mind. Yeah. And uh, yeah, well, last question. Uh, I asked uh, I asked Michaela this. Uh, how long before we see the Emmy Martinson Racing Stable? Oh, that's a very hard question. That's a hard question. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, and I don't know in which country. I oh, mean, okay. So yeah. you may travel. You may yeah. be like, all right, yeah. Yeah, but it is my dream. So to we'll just see. keep to yeah. keep going up, you learn what you can so from. So maybe maybe five years. Five years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you did. Generally, I mean, and you, even you raced in Sweden too, right? Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. So it's nice when you've got a group of people who all know every aspect. Yeah. Every once in a while, you got to tell the old man, be like, yeah, I can drive too. Yeah, yeah. get get out of here. So uh, again, thank you. Yeah. Kiri's a good boy and yeah. he's, he's a handsome fella. You're doing a good job with him. He loves the camera. <laughs> Does he love carrots? Yeah. Ca the camera. No, but what about carrots? Uh, not a big fan. No, not uh, a big fan, no? Bigger fan of apples. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so. And peppermint treats. Peppermint, uh, yeah. I should have, I should have brought. <laughs> oh, so, that's okay. uh, yeah, that's, that's my fault. So, thank you, Emmy. Thank you.